In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the result type in Swift 5. So first of all, I have already downloaded Xcode 10.2 beta 4 or above. So make sure that you are at least running 10.2 beta 4 or above for this example to work. So the whole point or the whole concept be behind the result type is that you can have different cases. Whenever we are performing an asynchronous network request, we can have cases for success and failure. So result type allows us to kind of package that in an enum and expose the result, which is a success portion and the error portion of it inside the type, the generic types of that enum. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So if we have a particular function, I'm gonna create a function, I'll call it fetch post, which is going to take some sort of a URL and it's gonna fire some sort of a completion handler which is escaping because we are going to escape this, escaping and result. Now over here we have to provide the generic arguments that what this result type will contain. What are we trying to get out of this fetch post function? So post is fine, but we are actually interested in the post array. So I'm gonna wrap it up in post array. The second argument is the error. You can actually pass in the error if you want, or you can be a little bit more specific and pass in your own error, which is network error, which doesn't exist. We will create that later on. This does not return anything. And there we go. So we have a couple of things to do. We need to create this post structure or class, and we also need to create this network error, which will be inheriting from the error. So let's get start with the post structure. It will be decodable because we will eventually decode it, and we will be reading data from some URL. It will have two different properties. One of them will be string and the other one will be body. And now let's move to the network error, which will be an enum, which will be called network error. You can obviously call this anything you want, but since we're using network error over here, that's why we used it. It will have domain error. Maybe your internet is down or it can have also have decoding error. Maybe you're trying to decode the response, but it's not decoding correctly to the type post. Obviously this list can go on forever depending on what you are trying to accomplish. Let's go ahead and first run this. And we have uh, making sure that your E network error is actually of type of error or inheriting from the error. Okay, let's go ahead and run this first. It's not really going to print anything at this point. We're not really doing anything. Now we can actually go ahead and perform a URL session dot shared dot data task, passing in the URL, which we already are passing. And the completion block is going to give us the data response and error. So let's go ahead and call this data response and error. I'm also going to go ahead and call resume because that's one of the things we all forget to do. And then we have no idea what's going on. And the request doesn't really go through. If we are able to get this response back, then data will be optional. So we need to unwrap it. So let's go ahead and unwrap it. Data equals to data. And hopefully the error will be equals to nil. If it is not, then we will do something. We'll say that we will have to check that if the error is actually equals to the error and the casting to the NS error doesn't fail, then we can actually check something that error.domain if that is equals to NS URL error domain. Maybe you're not connected to the internet. This really depends on the type of the error that you are actually checking. Uh, actually, it should be over here. So this is depending on type of the error that you're obviously checking, all right? If this is the case, then we can actually go ahead and fire completion. And this is where the result type is gonna come into play. We are, the result type, is simply an enum with success and failure. In this case, we are simply going to call failure and we're gonna say domain error because maybe the internet connection is not connected and we fired this particular error. However, if the internet is connected, then what we want to do is we want to start decoding the data that we just received. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, let post equals to try JSON decoder dot decode and we're going to decode post dot self make sure that your post is decodable or else it's not going to work passing in the data 
If this is successful, then again, we're going to find the completion handler. And this is the other part of the result enum, which is a success. So it kind of helps us out. And in the success, we can simply pass in post. All right. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's how it actually works. So now at this point, we have to also implement the catch. What's going to happen in the catch? We're going to again fire completion. And in this case, it will be a failure. And we're going to say maybe there's some problem with decoding. So we're just going to throw decoding error. All right. OK, so this is all good. Let's go ahead and see how we can actually use this, because this is just a function. We haven't really called the function. The first thing we need in order to for this to work is some sort of a URL. So let me go ahead and create a URL. You should always create a URL with optional checking. I'm not going to do that. I'm just unwrapping it over here. But you should always check that if this URL exists or not. If this doesn't exist, it's going to blow up. So make sure that you are doing a if let check or some sort of a guard statement. Fetch post, we're going to pass in the URL. There we go. And it's going to return us the completion block, the result enum. So let's go ahead and cache that in the trailing closure. Result in. And now the result that is being returned to you is actually of type result. So this means that this is an enum. So you can switch over it. So switch result and we will have different cases if it is success well we already passed in the post we're going to get access to the post and we can do something with it like print it out post however if the case is failure then well we're not going to do anything i mean we can pass in the error and display it but in this case i'm just going to say failed and so on let's go ahead and run this the URL itself is correct right now. So hopefully it's going to return me all the data as you can see. And if I go ahead and disconnect my internet, right over here, I'm going to disconnect it and going to run this again. It obviously will fire the failed and now it's failing. All right. So basically the result type, it is allowing us to uh, just giving us a little bit of a utility so that we can perform or pass in the array or whatever result that we are trying to pass for the success and the error for the other one, like for the failure case. So it's definitely uh, helpful so that we don't ha have to create two completion blocks for one success for one failure. And it's allowing us to minimize the code that we'll have to type. So this is the result type, which is new in Swift 5. If you have liked this video and you want to support my lectures, my videos, my channel, then maybe check out my Udemy profile. I have a link of the Udemy profile in the description and check out my different courses. I just released a course Mastering Rx Swift in iOS. If you're interested in learning about reactive programming, that might be the course for you. Also check out my other course, which is Intermediate and Advanced iOS Building Real World Apps. This is, as you can see, a hot and new course category. It is actually the featured course right now. It will tell you, it will show you how to build complete applications from start to finish. If you're interested in learning server-side Swift or even blockchain programming in iOS, then check out my courses there. So I have 22 courses. Most probably you'll find the course that you're looking for and check out the link in the description, which will take you to my profile on Udemy. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, let me know.